Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the vehicle I've got for you today is a 2007 Ford F-150 Harley Davidson edition with over 450,000 kilometers on it. And to be blunt, the inside of this truck is an absolute mess. All right, well just before I show you the monumental amount of dog hair on the inside, we'll take a quick peek at the exterior of the truck. And as you can see, winter has officially arrived here in Canada. So there's a healthy amount of muck and snow all over the truck that should be a lot of fun to blast off. But moving inside and you guys can see that every inch of carpet in here is covered in dog hair. And this is the first time I've ever seen this, but the entire headliner is full of hair too. And if that wasn't enough, the leather seats are pretty filthy too. And all the interior trim is covered in dirt that's likely been there for years. But just before we dive into this disaster, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I post a new video like this every week, so if you've got the bell on, you'll get notified the moment they go live. Okay guys, well you have seen just how dirty this truck is, so you know the transformation is going to be epic, and I can't wait to see how good I can get this truck looking today. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, well with the pressure washer fired up, I'll get to work on blasting away all the muck and snow from the truck. And I wanted to let you guys know, in case you haven't seen it yet, that episode three of the Studio Build series is now live over on the second channel, the Detail Geek 2. The electrical has been roughed in now, and I'll walk you through every plug and electrical decision I made. So make sure you guys head over there after this video to check it out. Moving to the back, and to give you some background on the truck, like I said in the opening, it's got 452,000 kilometers on it, or about 280,000 miles, which I think makes it the highest mileage vehicle that I've ever detailed. And something you might find interesting to know is that this is the same owner of the other Harry Harley Davidson truck I did about a month ago, so she's clearly a fan of these F 150s. And as for which vehicle is the hairiest, well, I'll let you guys decide once you see the hairball I pull out of here later in the video.
Now while I work my way around the truck, I wanted to remind you guys about the huge Detail Geek Black Friday sale I'm running right now. The entire store is 15% off, plus you can get free shipping within the US. So if you're looking to do some holiday shopping, well now is the time to take advantage of huge savings. So head on over to DetailGeekAutoCare.com to check it out. Now if you're wondering what kind of foam I use in these videos, well it's my own Detail Geek Mega Foam which has been specially formulated to produce thick and luxurious suds. So if you're a fan of giving vehicles a foam bath like I am, then you should really give this stuff a look. It gives you the perfect opportunity to get into those hard to reach areas with a detail brush like around all the emblems or behind the gas door. Now to take care of these dirty floor mats, I'll simply hit them with the pressure washer first, then I'll spray on some of my all-purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1, which is heavy strength, and then agitate with my medium green drill brush and then just blast them clean. Okay, well it's time to get to work on the interior of this truck and it shouldn't be a surprise that the front seats have to come out because there was an enormous amount of hair and garbage hiding underneath them that would have been near impossible to get at with them still in the truck.
Now since there's still a fair bit of hair stuck in the carpet, I'll grab my Lily brush, which is effortlessly able to pull all of that out so I can suck it up with the vacuum. And if any of you out there struggle with pet hair in your vehicle or your home, or maybe you know someone who does, you absolutely need to buy one of these brushes. For $13, they're worth their weight in gold and make hair removal incredibly easy. So head on over to DetailGeekAutoCare.com and pick one up, or they also make the perfect gift for friends with pets. Okay, starting on the section under the driver's seat, and I figured it was a good time for this week's members question, which comes from Michael. And it's a question a lot of you have had, which is, will you have others working for you in your new studio, or will you still work alone? So right now the plan is to continue operating as a one-man crew like I have all these years, and with YouTube and Detail Geek Auto Care taking the majority of my time, it would be very hard to take on any new endeavors right now. Although if Mike helped a bit more, maybe I could.
Okay, well not something I've ever had to do before, but I'll get started now on vacuuming up all the dog hair out of the headliner. And I know a lot of people have asked about how to clean headliners and if you've watched my videos, you know I do occasionally get a dirty one and I'll include it in the video. But for those of you who haven't seen it before, there's a couple methods to use. One would be a detail brush and all purpose cleaner for lightly soiled areas. Or for dirtier ones, I'd use APC and a microfiber towel wrapped around the triangle attachment on the steamer. Although you do have to be careful to not saturate the headliner. Here's the massive hairball pulled from the truck today and if you haven't seen the other hairball this dog made go check out the other Harley Davidson truck video and then let me know down in the comments here which hairball you think was bigger. moving around with the extractor and I wanted to quickly remind you guys about the memberships option on the channel which can get you access to early sneak peeks, members only videos and live streams, exclusive discount codes, early access to new videos and of course the members only community tab where I'll be sharing some pretty cool things soon so if any of that sounds interesting to you there should be a big join button right below this video you guys can check out.
Here's the slurry of disgusting water pulled from the truck. And I don't know about you guys, but the color of that reminds me of a certain scene from an Austin Powers movie. Gross. Moving on to an easy to overlook area of a vehicle and that's the pedals and thankfully there's no little grooves on these so they're really easy to clean but the process is the same, agitate with 4 to 1 APC and the steamer and then just wipe them clean. Now given the age of this leather and the state of the interior, it's safe to say it hasn't been deep cleaned for a while, if ever, so I've opted to steam it today and coupled with the leather cleaner, it will do a really good job of opening up the pores and blasting the dirt and grime out. And then once I've got all the seats clean, I'll go ahead and apply some leather conditioner to rejuvenate it and leave the seats looking fresh. Now to rejuvenate this faded interior plastic, I'll apply 303's Aerospace Protectant, which as you can see, does an incredible job at making it look new again.
Moving back outside, and to boost the depth and gloss of this old and dull paint, I'm applying some of my Detail Geek paint sealant, which if you aren't familiar with it, is a synthetic sealant much like a traditional wax, however it does have a few extra benefits which include ease of application and removal, incredible hydrophobicity, meaning water will bead like crazy, and it's long lasting and should keep this paint protected for about 6 months. Second last step is to get some aerospace protectant applied to all the black exterior plastic trim to really make it pop. All right guys, well 11 hours later and I have breathed new life back into the truck and it is looking fresh again. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Go check out the new episode of the Studio Build series over on the Detail Geek 2. Enjoy the guitar outro and I'll see you guys in the next one.